boys and girls, for our story today, we are going to read, Now You Read About Spacecrafts. We have liftoff, the rocket goes up. Look for the spacecraft at the top of the rocket. It is only a small part of the rocket. Huge tanks of fuel are below it. This spacecraft is on its way to the moon. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. How does a space rocket move? It is like a firecracker. Fuel is burned inside of it. This makes hot gases. Look for the stream of hot gases escaping from the rocket. The force of the gases pushes the rocket along. This space rocket has three stages. As each stage runs out of fuel, it falls away. Then the next stage fires. This makes the space rocket go faster. It goes higher and higher. Look for the spacecraft on its own. It is now in space. This is Robert Goddard standing beside the rocket he built. It flew for two seconds. It reached a height of 13 yards, a little less than 12 meters. That was a record in 1926. In 1957, the Russians sent this strange thing into orbit. As it circled the Earth, it sent out radio signals. One year later, the Americans sent a satellite into space. Here is the rocket before liftoff. This Russian spacecraft is called Vostok 1. The artist has cut away part of the spacecraft. Look for the pilot. He was the first person to go into space. The round bottles were filled with air. The pilot breathed this air. The year is 1969. This American spacecraft is in orbit around the moon. The landing craft is going down onto the moon. Two men are inside it. They are the first human beings to visit the moon. This is a Russian space station. Teams of Russians are taken up in smaller spacecraft. They stay at the space station for many days. The long arms are solar panels. They take heat from the sun and make it into electricity. This American space station is Skylab. The solar panels are like the arms of a windmill. Look for the spacecraft about to link up with Skylab. The people inside the small spacecraft are going to work at the space station. The space shuttle is a space plane. It takes off like a rocket but lands on a runway like a plane. This spacecraft can go up into space many times. Look for the space shuttle picking up the satellite. A long arm is reaching out. Then the satellite is loaded inside the space shuttle. Look at this space capsule falling back to Earth from space. It is re-entering the Earth's atmosphere. The capsule is going very fast. It is getting very hot. It has a special heat shield. The capsule has splashed down into the sea. Look at the outside of the capsule. The heat shield is damaged. It is peeling off. This happened when the capsule re-entered the Earth's atmosphere. This spacecraft is a long way from Earth. It is on the planet Mars. Look at the red sands and pink sky. Some planets are a long way away. Spacecraft travel for years to get to them. This spacecraft is going through the air above Venus. This spacecraft is flying past the planet Mercury. Mercury looks like the moon. Here is Voyager 1 passing Saturn. The rings are made of millions of small rocks covered in ice. What will happen in the future? Maybe spacecraft will travel to the stars. They are so far away that we will need a very powerful rocket. It might look like this. One day, people might live in giant spacecraft. Look at this huge spacecraft. Would you like to live in space? In this book, you have read about spacecraft. Can you name these space vehicles? What are they doing? Look at all of these spacecrafts. Awesome job listening, boys and girls. You did so good. We're going to do a fun reading activity next. I'll see you then. Bye.